Welcome to Swiss Action TV. Today I'm in Arvenbühl, a small village above Amden. And uh, down there is uh, the Wallensee, the Lake Wallen. And as you can see, it's already a nice town here for walking and in winter to drive ski. You see a big fondue pot there behind. It's a famous restaurant with a big terrace. And uh, you can actually come with uh, public transportation here or with the car. You see a big playground here behind me, a little bit more far behind. Just behind the park, uh, playground is the parking place. You can park your car and uh, you can um, drive ski or go to hiking here above uh, Arvenbühl in the mountains. There are many ways and you can see there the, the nice view which uh, this town has goes to the you can see the nice very nice view to the alps this is special here on this town um, is that it's uh, directed to the south so this town has a lot of sun the whole day and uh, you can really have a, a nice time up here with a lot of sun and also in the evening you have um, the you can see the sunset from here it's a really an amazing town very near to to the Wallensee and uh, not so far from Zurich so I'll go to hike a little bit up here in the mountains and uh, see what I can show you more here this is the station of Bühl here is the turning point for the public transportation for the buses which arrive here the bus stop the nice playground from the restaurant here and there is uh, the big parking place you can park your car and from here you can in winter drive ski or you have many hiking routes as you can see here by these yellow guides here, always follow these yellow guides here in Switzerland. This, they will show you the hiking pass and uh, how long you need for your target. And again here is one of the nice fountains, drink water fountains. You can use and fill up your water. I already walked up a little bit here above the village of Mbühl. As you can see here is normally the slope just in this uh, grass here and beside are many holiday houses here which you can rent in winter or in summer doesn't matter and with a more nice view to the Swiss Alps there behind so this one is one of the official hiking trail signals or marks when you're in Switzerland go to hiking always follow these uh, yellow marks then you can be sure that you are on a safe trail which is officially a hiking trail and you not will lost somewhere in the no man's land. I'm so far on the half of my way. I just want to show you how nice these Alps look like here, these small Alp houses. The farmers will bring their cows or sheep or whatever in summer up here. They can feed the cows or sheep here with fresh herbs and grass. Look at that nice, nice view to the Alps. And this trail here is also possible in winter to do with the uh, uh, snowshoes. I'm 
not sure if snowshoe is the correct term for it. These shoes which you can walk in the deep snow. The earliest version looked like some kind of version like tennis racks. Uh, I think you can imagine what I mean. I will write it later in the subtitle and uh, I'll continue I'll continue up there up there to the top to see how amazing the view is from there. So I reached the top of this hill, it's called uh, Fordre Höhe and uh, down there is the way which I came up. Started there in Arfon Biel above Amden and um, I'm also first time here and it's uh, really amazing how good the view is here to the Alps. The way is uh, really comfortable to go come up here, even you can take your kids buggy or your bicycle. In summer here will be a restaurant, now it's still mid-season. There behind this, this valley is called uh, Tockenburg, which is also very nice and there the tall snow mountain is uh, the Santis, one of the uh, famous tourist uh, mountains there. You can go up with the cable car. The, all this region here is accessible for hiking. We come with the mountain bikes. Could even go up there to this hill. This mountain chain here is called the uh, Hurfirsten, also very famous mountain chain, great hiking region. Winter you can drive ski there also. I will continue up here a little bit to see if we have more nice view to the other side of the to the other valley there to the Tockenburg. I continue here a little bit this hiking trail. You can see we still have some snow here. This year, 2021, uh, is compared to the last two years um, very cold for this season. Uh, don't know why, maybe some people say because of the Covid restrictions, uh, less planes or cars driving around uh, or flying around but uh, I think this still has to be proved by some bonus scientists to check if this really has had an influence to the nature or we just uh, had uh, this year uh, an unexpected colder year. Around 18 degrees today, 18 degrees Celsius. So I can walk here already with shorts and uh, t-shirt, which is very amazing. Here with shorts and t-shirt you still have snow the mountains here hopefully there is not more snow here on the trail which I worry will be there in front I guess there are some footsteps there also this mark here shows or is an indication for a hiking trail red and white if you if you not see the yellow one then this is a trail marker especially more higher in the mountains where just uh, some rocks are available then they often mark this red and white label to show you the uh, the hiking trail so <laughs> let's see if i can go above this or over this snowfield and check where the trail will continue. As you can see here, I'm just in the middle of the snowfield, and as you can see, 
here is quite difficult to find the trail of course uh, luckily I have some footsteps here from other people but if you not would have that there on the tree just there on the tree you see another hiking marker or trail marker so if you come into a situation like I am now you follow this marker and not go somewhere else then you be safe on the on the trail because if you would not have these footsteps here from other people I really would have no idea where the trail will would continue here it looks very nice like a small sunny oasis with the fresh melting snow water here just around the tree by the marker is warm and the snow was melted this hole is I think from the um, the tree covered the ground when the snow falling down and that's why they around the tree has not so much snow so I'll continue here up follow the other footsteps and I hope there will be another trail marker otherwise I have to go back and go to the normal way I think we reach now the top as you can see I still follow this these markers there the trail markers you can see the, the way he was going around this tree and there was actually already uh, quite steep if you make a wrong step there you're ending falling down in the valley so always always in the mountains stay on your trail and uh, be safe here in the mountains especially if you have some snow fields like here if you don't know this is a hiking trail below it it really can be very very dangerous because sometimes under the underneath the snow has some holes or caves and you with your white you could break through and sink down in a hole see already another trail marker so still safe to be here but on this snow fields like here you have to be careful now we have here an amazing viewpoint which I think I will take some rest here down there is this valley I told you before is the Tockenburg and the left snow mountain is called Sentis you can go up there with a cable car or more than four different hiking routes which are a little bit more advanced depends which one you choose and it's really really nice hiking region here far behind the more big valley there crossing this valley is the Rhine valley and more behind is already Liechtenstein and the left side would be Austria or not would be there is <laughs> Austria and check this nice mountains here this this area here is called the Churfirsten the whole chain here is very famous hiking paradise and uh, behind there ski skiing paradise to drive ski in the winter looks really similar like the Rocky Mountains maybe never was there but what I see saw so far in the 
movies it, for me it looks quite similar it was not so easy to go up above this snowfield but as you can see it's really nice viewpoint here really amazing especially now it's uh, around 18 degree warms and you still have one side snow and the other side it looks like a summer picnic place I think I will sit here on the tree there and take some snacks enjoy the sun and then later I will go back down to the parking place where I come from and you still can see here two markers one there one there just always keep your eyes open when you walk here in the mountains never never make photos during your walk always stop and stand or sit down to make some photos otherwise one just one wrong step and you could uh, fall down to the uh, somewhere to the cliffs or wherever in a hole look at that nice nice picnic place there but sadly I forgot my damn snack bag so I forgot my food in the car so I just have my water bottle now with me I like to show you one time more the nice place here far behind there is the bench the picnic bench the nice mountain chain called Kurfürsten amazing view here amazing weather today afternoon the valley called Tockenburg the mountain the Santis mountain and uh, the left side is still the same Tockenburg valley continues there very famous for their farmers the milk the cheese there behind this um, the region called Appenzell which is really producing a famous cheese the so-called Appenzeller cheese really can recommend you to try this uh, Appenzeller cheese and also I need to recommend you the Appenzeller beer especially the panache is really really amazing I'm, I'm not a beer drink, drinker but the panache, uh, the beer with lemon taste inside is really amazing. One of the best panache I had so far. So since I forgot my food in the car, I will continue this way here. Check if I can have a round walk here on this tour. Otherwise I need to go the same way back. a lot of water from the melting snow here could cause you wet socks which is something I hate when I have to walk further but, uh, I will check where these markers will lead me and I take some footage after uh, on my way back to the car so here I'm turning back you see here the yellow guide show you where to go you could continue more up there to the snowfield but I guess there will just be more snow the more high we're coming and even this purple guides here indicates that this is a um, walkway for the snowshoes in winter which I guess could be really really nice up here it's still at the moment very nice uh, to be here so I will turn right here and go back to Alfenbühl let's see where the 
walkway will continue. Why I'm filming here is because you can hear the birds so well. Just listen a little bit the birds here. I'm on the way back on my round trip here. The way came from there. I like to show you again a wonderful tree or the roots with a nice trail marker here. You could see on the snowfield how important it is to follow these markers. They will go down here, the nice trail back down to the valley. I'm coming back from my round walk. Just can see here the street going up there to the Vordere Höhe. This place there, the small pass you can reach. You can reach the, this point from Arvenbühl within an hour. Then you can continue to go up there, here on the right here. You go behind the walk, the trail goes move here. Then coming down here around the valley and come down here the inside the valley on this street where I am now. Yeah, that was my nice Friday afternoon tour to Alfenbühl and Amden. It really was amazing how good the weather is, how nice the chalets are up here, the nice mountains and uh, still have some snow up there. I really love the place, it's very near to reach from uh, Zurich and it already looks like the, uh, the, the huge uh, holiday resorts like Chamonix or Samat or other nice famous places in uh, Switzerland. So follow me on this channel, subscribe to support my channel and I show you the most nice places here in Switzerland. So I had to stop here with the car to show you how amazing this afternoon or evening sun is. It's now 7.30 p.m. and as you can see you have still some the village called Amden. It's, it's directed to the south here, therefore you have so much sun. Down there, down there is the Wallensee, the lake. And in this town, you always have so much sun. It's really amazing. You have to come here and try it out by yourself. Still have the sunset here, 7:30 or soon 7:45 here p.m. Just amazing. So look at that nice evening mood. Down there is the Wallensee, the lake I told you. I could not resist to show you this footage. So nice evening sun. Just at the border of the Alps here. Very nice lake, evening scenery.